Hi, I'm David Bolton of Go Parallel, and today I'm going to be looking at the cost of cloud for high performance computing. I want to know how much it costs to do an intense computing task using one of the cloud services. We don't need much output, just processing power and RAM. What do I mean by cloud computing? It means using a network of remote servers hosted on the internet to store, manage and process data rather than a local server or a personal computer. There are as many uses as there are on your local computer but with the addition of high speed internet access should you want it. You can run a web server or the back end of a web service, mobile game and much more, but you can also scale up using large amounts of processing, storage and memory to do tasks that would normally require a very powerful computer. Is HPC in the cloud an affordable alternative to buying or building and running your own high performance computer? Who are the providers of cloud-based computing? You can probably guess that the usual suspects include IBM, Google and Amazon, but also Rackspace, Dell, HP and many more. The big three to whom the word hyperscale applies are Amazon AWS, Google Cloud Platform and Microsoft Azure. There's also rumours that Alibaba have a very large capacity, but we don't know much about that. According to Gartner, Amazon is estimated to have 10 times the capacity of the next 14 vendors, with between 2 and 5 million servers. So, what will you be paying for? With high performance computing, the emphasis is probably on the processing element first, memory probably comes second, data transfers probably third or a joint second, and permanent data storage for results comes fourth. Your mileage may vary, of course. Let's look at pricing for the big three and compare the costs of running a similar setup on them for a three month period. This can only be approximate, of course. They aren't supercomputers by any stretch of imagination, but they're pretty powerful systems with 32 cores. Amazon offers a huge range of different configurations. I chose a C3.8 times large with reserved instance pricing. This gives 32 virtual CPUs, 108 ECU, that's a measure of processing power, EC, it's short for EC2 compute unit. This provides 60 gig of RAM and two 320 gig SSDs. The running cost is $1.68 per hour, but there are other costs to be counted as well. According to their plan calculator shown on the screen here, a three year cost of $30,000 is shown, and that works out at about $2,500 for three months. If you scroll down from the calculator, you can see all the different calculations where they're using to uh, compare it with the, the cost of just having your own hardware. I find the Amazon uh, configuration screen quite overwhelming. There's a lot of different setups and determining what is exactly best for your needs isn't easy. How much do you think it would cost to build a supercomputer on AWS EC2? Well, it's surprisingly affordable well, if you've got a lot of cash. Back in 2011, someone bonded 3,809 eight core EC2 instances to create a supercomputer with 30,000 cores, 27 terabytes of RAM and two petabytes of storage. A snip at a running cost of $1,279 per hour. It was used for American modeling by a big pharma company. Let's look at Google and then Microsoft's offerings. Shown on the screen is Google's cloud platform pricing calculator. You pick from seven different categories and build up an estimate of the cost. It depends on your needs, what you want to pick, just plain old computing or an app running on the Google engine. Do you need containers, just storage, big queries, data store or SQL? Again, like Amazon, this is pretty complicated. Is it beyond their powers to build an expert system to help you choose? Anyway, with Google, I got an estimated monthly cost of $934, so approximately $2,800 for three months. That's a similar setup to Amazon. Microsoft's pricing calculator is similar to Google's, though I think it's slightly better laid out or it looks nicer. The, their most powerful system, though, is a P4, which is only eight cores. Uh, you can see through here what the various prices are. And uh, you can see the prices are in pounds sterling. That's because, hey, I'm English. And um, it doesn't seem to give you the option for dollars. But I converted it and it works out at $836.74 a month, or just about $2,500 for three months. But note that only includes 14 gig of RAM, 500 gig of storage, and 10 gig of bandwidth out. Based on these figures I'd say it's Amazon in first place but Google's fairly close behind and then Microsoft's in third place even though Microsoft's about the same price as Amazon and Google's slightly more expensive. Bear in mind these comparisons are not exact so if you're dipping your toe in the water try things out for yourself. And note these are not the only players in town, they're just the three I've picked. Amazon has a free pricing tier so you can get started with Amazon EC2 for up to a year without costing a cent. You can also try Google's App Engine which is free up to a daily limit. Microsoft's Azure is providing a free one month trial up and you get a $200 bonus. If you're an MSDN subscriber there's a substantial extra free amount as well, I think it's in excess of $1500. Thank you for watching this video, I'm David Bolton of GoParallel.